Okay, thanks everyone for coming to uh, the third British Information Modelling event. This evening is very much about innovation and kind of looking at different parties, how they innovate, how they're changing, how we work. Innovation is hugely important for our business. We're challenged by customers to keep on coming up with new ideas of doing things, how to you know, drive productivity, how to drive better assets. Always kind of trying to engage with industry to find players like 3D Repo to see about how it potentially fits in terms of what we're providing our customers with good solutions. Throughout the industry, we're seeing clients and innovators working together much more closely uh, as the clients start to realise competitive advantage in using innovative technologies, particularly around data technologies, the management of efficiencies and, and productivity in their work processes. Intelligent clients like Jersey Airports are quite up, you know, uh, in the forefront with asset management, whole life costing. Local authorities, some work to do there and um, again get get them in, interested in asset management and digital information. I'm just thinking, should we be thinking in terms of our public uh, infrastructure that's held by private clients, telling them as a, as a mandate uh, to be utilising BIM? That's actually quite a tricky question. So um, with regards to cyber security, that again is something that the market really needs to sort out. Uh, but that's, that's typically the way that the, the standards are operated. So it, you, you pull one sector of the market in a certain direction and you let the private sector sort the rest out. Wherever you are in the supply chain, client, uh, architect, engineer, everybody's looking for efficiencies. And the best way to get efficiencies is through digital technology and through better data structure, clearer questions, clearer outcomes, um, and you'll deliver the projects, hopefully, a lot better. I've worked in a couple of projects where the most actually the best way that we had to communicate data eventually was through scripts. I think it's only a matter of time till we stop generating drawings and we're actually just producing 3D information that the client can use. From a, an innovation standpoint in construction there's a lot of talk always around this kind of one and two percent profit margin which is kind of the, the big issue and it's the reason we probably don't do things or we're quite risk averse. I think there's almost a, a due to a need for the technology providers, the software providers to go, okay, here's, here's use cases, here's where we've saved money or we've generated a great return for our clients. So you can kind of take that to others and say, well, they're making gains over here, here's how you could do it in your own business. Because we're not going to do anything if it's just going to cost us money and not get us gains.